Voters in the Central American nation of El Salvador will go to the polls on Sunday to elect their new president. But the big story making news is a corruption scandal involving a former president who is said to have received millions of dollars from Taiwan. CCTV's Frank Contreras is in the Salvadoran capital with the latest. El Salvador's federal government says the former president of the Central American country, Francisco Flores, attempted to flee this nation on Tuesday, heading into nearby Guatemala. The former president himself denies any allegations that he was leaving the country as he faces charges of embezzling anywhere from 10 to 20 million dollars in funds that were brought to this country under his government, brought into this country from Taiwan. Taiwan has been paying governments here in this part of the world, Central America, and the Caribbean nations to support its efforts to become an independent state from China. And so the former president, Flores, says this sort of thing was considered normal. Later on Tuesday, Flores was brought here to the National Legislative Assembly and faced serious grilling from a special commission which asked him questions about the whereabouts of these funds. The former president, Flores, denied allegations that he had used the funds for his own personal benefit, though documents from the U.S. Treasury Department indicate that the money flowed from his accounts here in El Salvador over to Miami, Costa Rica, and then into a special bank account in the Bahamas. This political scandal continues to unfold just days before Salvadorans go to the polls on Sunday to choose a new leader. The special commission investigating these charges of embezzlement are scheduled to meet once again and continue intense questioning of the former president. Frank Contreras, CCTV, San Salvador.